I know why you're here. I know. For years, people have gotten away with cheating. They constantly do it. And Epic refuses to do anything about it. And you die to them. And you are sick of it. I get it. Does that make it okay? No, it doesn't. But it's a huge problem. And it's almost like you can't keep up unless you have something like this right here. And a lot of you have purchased this thing. Because you're watching this video right now wanting to know how do I set it up? And what is the best way to use it? I, to this day, I have had this for a couple months now. I still don't know everything about it but i definitely know probably a lot more than you when it comes to fortnite scripts and this is what this video is about i'm gonna show you all the scripts that i have found so before the trolls come in or the trolls even type first thing you're gonna say is oh my god i can't believe you're promoting cheating well the truth is your favorite comp player your favorite whatever probably cheats in this game and it's just the reality of it when you see abnormal bloom from a lot of these fortnite players you think that's lucky you think that's lucky 99 percent of the time have you ever seen some of your favorite controller players ever just hit no shots because of bloom but i bet it happens to you is that a coincidence no it is not i'm here to be brutally honest about the situation i'm not here to promote it but the truth is if People are out here making thousands of dollars in these tournaments with one of these things plugged in. Then why can't you do it too? Why is it not fair? Because of morality? Because of being moral? That was gone. That was gone when people started cheating. And then people will shame others. Look at what it's doing. Look at how much it helps. It's, do I think it's fair? No, but it is what it is. It's like at the end of the day, I'm just out here trying to make YouTube videos and you guys are just, you guys are mad about it. Like uh, next thing you guys, the next thing a lot of people say, and it, it, it kind of amazes me is lose some weight or you're a fat. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be honest with you too. I'm down 40 pounds. So if you got anything better to say, come at me, roast me in the comments, do whatever. Make sure you guys like the video though. I'm all for fun and games. You can talk all your crap. I'm not someone who really gets butt hurt, but don't expect me not to say anything back. I'm always going to say something back. I always love to argue. We can have our arguments. Um, if you have any, if you have any true opinions within the like matter of all of this, Hey, say your opinion. I'm more than open to talking to you about it. I'm not going to sit here and say what I'm doing is right either, but all these people are making money. I'm going to go make my money. So it is what it is. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let's get it. All right. So for the first script that I recommend that I have found is Dogs Puller Aim Assist version 6. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's. I'm pretty sure X is 6. Disregard. I'm not good with uh, Roman numerals. All right. The reason I like this script is because it allows you to touchpad edit. The first thing you're going to see right here in the middle of the script it says build or it says PS on Xbox. PlayStation controller will swap touchpad and share when on pc or xbox meaning if you like to use touchpad you can now do that with this script so right here in the notes this is everything that you can see on here that you can go into the game pack on the zen and actually um change on the go as you're playing if you hold down l2 and click the start button if you look on your Zen when you have it on that script, you'll see a game log pull up and you can swap, you can scroll over, you can turn on and turn off mods. You need to understand the more mods you use, the more likely you're gonna run into problems. I have not ever set up the mod where you can click ramp, cone, and floor all at the same time, which is a super handy thing to do. But I mean, when you're good at the game, you can just do that. But they have a lot of stuff in here for players who are not as good. And it makes it so much easier and even like handicapped kids like even if someone handicapped needed something like that that would help them a lot too so right here you will see the aim assist values i still cannot elaborate how this all works out but when you go into the script and you adjust these these values 
there will be four increments of values okay it'll go it'll automatically set it from six and two six and two if you are on like a five to seven dead zone if you go anything over two it's gonna shake a lot and you're gonna see a lot of abnormal movement and it's kind of gonna give you problems but if you're on more of a dead zone from like eight to twelve um you could probably go up to about four and I, I would suggest your first number being higher than your second and your third number being higher than your fourth so for example if you do something like a four two four two and then the next one over would be your dead zone value that is a decent one for the higher dead zone if you're on a lower dead zone you need to go down a little do not try to max these things out. Your, your aim is just going to start circling and it's going to be all bad. And, and if you're doing this and trying to hide it, then you're you're done for. Like, you're going to get exposed real quick. Everyone's going to know you're freaking cheating. So right here, um, right here, you see enter menu, switch menu, exit menu. This shows you how to get in out of the menu on the Krona Zen because you cannot go onto the software and make changes as you're using the script. You can only sit there and change the script from inside the game pack and that's just th that's the only way you can do it so right here you have shooting and fire mod toggles uh rapid fire drop shot jump shot you can have yourself like sit there go up and down as you're shooting like the old school um people used to do um you have rapid fire you have crowd shot jump shot pump wall pump hand cannon you can have it pump hand cannon and just sits there and pump hand cannons for you like that's so broken um too bad the hand cannon is not in the game anymore so it's kind of a useless script uh it's a, it's a useless thing in the script now. He'll probably come out with a new script here in the future. If not, he he might have already made one. Um, but right here, when you go into your your game pack on the Zen, you need to go into build mods. Whenever you go into this, um, you need to go turn on build mode tracker because if you don't, while you're building, you're gonna be sitting there trying to build and you're your crosshair is going to be sitting there wobbling around well it's it's because if you don't have that on your your motion every time you like click wall is still trying to do the aim assist um movement that it gives whenever you're shooting so make sure so if you do anything editing wise so if you want to like edit faster and do this stuff this is where i kind of found a little bit of bugs so if you want to go macro um just go get a macro software like anti anti macro the controller setup that's super easy to get get all figured out but right here um you can hold the auto select and release confirm to edit so right here you have a fast reset and a time reset it does not work if your reset is l2 if you do have something like r1 you could literally just click your edit button click r1 you don't have to click confirm and it resets your edit um it is kind of buggy if you could somehow incorporate R1 being your edit select button. So as you're like clicking the boxes and if you could reset with R1, R2 or RT, that would be really beneficial, especially when you're box fighting. So like, you know how when you have a Dorito edit and you have a floor and you can't necessarily reset that wall. Well, unless you have your reset as RT or R2, it's going to be kind of hard to reset those um just out of just out of how it goes but i i definitely recommend that um so yes as you go through all these scripts you're gonna see a bunch of different stuff you're gonna see all these values all these values right here you can change within the game pack once you learn how to use the program in the software but the most important thing right here you have binds you need to set your binds accordingly to this so that all these mods can work correctly because this is kind of the foundation of how the script works so if you're resetting your your edits with triangle right and your pickaxe is triangle then you go to try to do a fast reset it's not gonna work so make sure you go in here adjust it to the right thing and when i say adjust the right thing all you gotta do is just follow the pattern so you see how it's it's typed out circle in capital letters like that's all you need to do you just type it in capital letters so i'll do it right now so i backspace one in my in the thing goes white right you put in a capital e and it goes into that color and that'll kind of validate that the, that the fact that you have set that bind accordingly and then right here you will see ps4 touch is because when i've messed with this i had to change it to touch because of when i used it 
um that's how i had to set my script so right here you have a bunch of stuff there's actually a lot to this that i really just i am not fully informed of um so as much as i've learned there's still a lot of stuff i'm not fully informed of i feel like all of this is just mod stuff um and you know it would be cool to learn because every every script depending on how much stuff is on it um i think the smaller scripts is going to give you a lot less of a delay or you can actually lower the delay of the controller on the actual zen so even if you get a zen and you don't use scripts you can still put your milliseconds to one second and you can actually make sure you you can actually uh lower the delay of the controller if you're getting a lot of delay in fortnite regardless but yeah, go ahead and try Dog's Polar Aim Assist. It's it's a really good script. I'm not saying you're saying go use it in tournaments. I don't I don't condone that. Um, but go sit in creative and see how you like it. I mean, a lot of people you're not gonna like how this works because it has its delay, and I think console players are probably gonna benefit from it more simply because console already has that delay. I don't know if an external thing can add even more delay to that i don't really know if that's possible i don't play on console the file pack for this will be in the description so make sure you go and download it so i'm gonna be honest i was gonna include more scripts in here but i'm just gonna make a couple more videos on them make sure you guys like and subscribe i'm gonna keep doing more videos like this i don't really care what you trolls think i don't care if you're mad that i'm making these videos blah 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 your favorite player probably cheats i mean i i would assume that people like epic whale and arkham and probably even booga like i i think those are pretty stand-up players and i don't think they really cheat um but if you see a controller player never missing a shot which you can still miss a shot with a zen but if you're seeing abnormal shots for high damages just just be suspicious it's there's like no aim assist in fortnite right now so how are these players hitting like this you figure it out all right make sure you guys like subscribe i'm out of here peace